Welcome back to Quick Slants. I'm Tim Clay here with uh, Duncan, Duncan and, and Ryan, Ryan. Kelher. Today we're going to be talking about the Patriots. They have kind of a tough schedule this season, so how do you think they're going to do? Um, I'm going to start this one off. I think that the first couple of weeks without Edelman is going to be tough. I mean, sure, Edelman is not like the heart and soul. They have other guys to throw to, but he's kind of like a Brady's man man, you know? And they're placing Houston, Jacksonville, teams like that. And Jacksonville is a pretty good secondary, so it's going to be hard for New England to get by. Yeah, and uh, it's like the first four weeks, I think that was two years ago when Tom Brady got suspended. Those, four, those first four weeks, they played like the Browns, the Miami Dolphins, Buffalo Bills. They, those teams were terrible, but now they're playing. The only bad team they're playing is week three against the Colts, but it's week one Houston, week two Jacksonville, and that's all without Edelman. And uh, Jacksonville's pass rush, they have a very good young pass rush and I'd say the best secondary in the league. The Patriots did get some new offensive linemen, but I just feel like the Jacksonville, I think, could beat them. Well, they were playing like bad teams. Those bad teams could have easily won. We went 3-1 in that stretch, 2-2, two and two, but the reason we did that, that's a much bigger position to lose. Quarterback, mm-hmm. I mean, especially when that quarterback is Tom Brady. Yes. Luckily, we had a quality quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, to back us up. This time, Julian Edelman, we have so, a, a lot of receivers backing Julian Edelman. Yeah, up. and I, I agree with both of you guys. Having someone like Edelman out is going to definitely hurt the team, but maybe not as much as having Brady out. Exactly. Yeah, and speaking of Brady, like, how do you think he'll do this season? He's turning 41 in five days. He, I, I know people have been saying he's just going to, like, people every year he gets older, People say he's going to do worse, but I think he'll be the same Tom Brady. Coming off an MVP year, unless he gets hurt, I think he'll be the same Tom Brady we always know. I think that Tom Brady's going to have a rough go at it, especially against in the first two weeks. I mean, especially I think that in the first week against Houston, Houston has a pretty good D-line right there. Even though Patriots have a good O-line, J.J. Watt can definitely get through, so I think there will be a couple sacks that could rough Brady up. And then the second week, you're playing a defense that doesn't just have a good D-line or a good secondary. They have all the pieces together. So uh, what you're saying uh, with the good D-lines, how do you think teams are going to have to beat the Patriots? I think that they're going to have to beat the Patriots. I think the Patriots are going to get by offensively. I mean, even though they're playing great defenses, I think they're still going to get by offensively. They're, they always just have that one thing. Even when you think they're going to lose, they always just have that one thing that's going to get them back in there. I think that teams are going to have to beat the Patriots offensively. That's I mean, Malcolm I Butler losing – Losing Malcolm Butler was huge, and especially for the first week for the Texans. Mm-hmm. The Texans have a skilled receiver position. Yeah, DeAndre Will Fuller, Hopkins. DeAndre Hopkins, exactly. And a pretty good quarterback, but we don't know if he's going to be good yet. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to say he's going to do pretty well, Deshaun Watson. This is, this is going to be a little bit of a hot take, but I think the Patriots' defense is better this year than it was last year. They're getting Dante Hightower back. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on Stephon Gilmore. I think he's going to have a really, really good year. Duke Dawson, he's the rookie. I think in one or two years he can be a starting defensive back. Jason McCourty, Devin McCourty, Trey Flowers, a pass rush, uh, Dietrich Wise. Definitely, I think yeah. he'll, he'll, come, he'll, he'll have a very good year. He's only getting better. And, yeah. The Patriots' defense time and time again has proven – that they can help out in games. I mean, it's not just the Tom Brady show. When you think the Patriots. Except for the Super Bowl. Yeah, except for the Super Bowl. It's going to be, well, Tom Brady and the Super Bowl, we did good. He but threw for 500 yeah, yards. Yeah, exactly. Five touchdowns. And the defense the could defense not hold could, Yeah, that's what I was that's saying. What the, pr- the defense yeah, doesn't help in the Super Bowl. That's the, pro- that's the problem there. But they had a lot of guys banged up. Dante Hightower, I don't think he was in the game. He was cheating. Jason play. McCourty, who we just added, he probably could have helped out without mm-hmm. Malcolm Butler. Uh, I feel like if we had. All our defensive pieces put together. Yeah. I'm I, not saying we would have won the game. I'm saying we would have come close. But we're not talking about the Super Bowl. We're talking about the next season. The Super Bowl is something in the past. So, but we're looking to the present. So with the Patriots losing last Super Bowl, who do you think is the best team that could beat the Patriots this year? Uh, in the AFC, um, I'm going to say Jacksonville, which I think is on everybody's that, mind right now. I, but I also I think say. the Buffalo Bills are going to give them a good run. The Buffalo Bills, they made it to the playoffs. Sure, they lost Tyrod Taylor. But they still have LaShawn McCoy, who I think is going to carry the team this year. And I think that the Buffalo Bills are a pretty good – they're a quality team. You don't make the playoffs by being a bad team. And I don't think that the Dolphins are Jets. They're not no. going to really come – I 
mean, the Jets, they're going to come in in a couple of years when they have all the developed players. Yeah. The Dolphins, they're just the Dolphins. They have a terrible coaching situation, a terrible quarterback situation. Is Ryan Tannehill going to be healthy? He could take a sack in the first week and be done for the season. Yeah, but also, also, in the NFC, the Rams, I don't know how all of them will do together, but they have Aaron Donald. He's sitting out training camp, but I don't think that will affect him. Nick Domigan Sue. Marcus Peters, and that's just the, That's just the defense. They got Todd Gurley, a beast. Sammy Watkins, Brandon Cook, exactly. Jared, Jared Goff. Goff. All right, now, now, really quick before we go, who is your pick to win the Super Bowl? Uh, I think it's a little early to tell right now, but I'm going to go with uh, the New England Patriots. No bias aside, all the bias aside, they have, they're going to have, even with Julian Edelman out, they're going to have so many developed receivers in yeah, those four they weeks. Have a lot, they've signed a lot of be, veteran They receivers. have some depth right now, yeah. And me, I haven't seen this team together yet, but I think it's the L.A. Rams. It's their year to win. So, yeah. All right, that will do it for Quick Slants. I'm Tim Clay here with Duncan and Ryan. Thank you for watching.